Hi everyone, I'm Terika with Terika Fitness. Today I have a 10 minute posture workout for you. We're gonna strengthen our back and strengthen our core. All you need for these 10 minutes is a chair and a mat. So we're gonna go ahead and just jump right into it. So you're gonna look at me at the screen and then I want you to reach up and then reach to the other side and then we're taking to a lateral lunge, reaching for the toe and the other side. That's it, let's go. You're just reaching. Now the reason why we're reaching is to go ahead and warm up that back. This rotation is great for the spine. Always wanna start with warming up before we jump into our strength movement. Now if you think you can do a bit more, then you're more than welcome to. But here we wanna focus on that rotation. Keeping the core tight as you twist. Strong back, healthy core. We're gonna hit it today, just 10 minutes. Come on, we can do this. Reaching and down. So I can tell you a little bit about today's workout. It's going to be low impact, meaning there's no jumping. How do you like that? And this is the last one. Reach and down. Perfect. Shake it out. You're nice and warm in your back. Now I want you to bring your right knee into the chair. Then you're gonna place your right arm into the chair. So you're gonna press away from the chair, rounding through that core, keeping that back nice and flat. So I should be able to put a plate of food on your back, okay? It's so straight. You're gonna use your left arm, hanging off the side of the chair, and you're gonna inhale, bring it up. <sighs> yeah, just like that. So what I want you to focus here is keeping those shoulder blades pulled together as you bring it up. So it's like a fly. Four more, four, three. On that last one, we're gonna hold it up. Hold it up. From here, I want you to circle forward for eight, Seven, six, five, four. You feel that burn? <laughs> and opposite way. The burn is good. That's when you know you're working the muscle, and that's when we should really keep going. Two and one, and bring it down. Shake it out. Shake it out. We have the other side to do. So you're gonna bring your left knee into the chair, keeping our core tight, like we talked about. Left hand in the chair. Press away, rounding through that core. Keep that core, those kegels nice and tight so we keep our back nice and strong. Drop that right arm by the chair. Inhale, lift. Exhale, down. Let's go. Eight. Mm -hmm. So remember what I said on the other side. Keep those shoulder blades pulled together. Five, four, three, two. Hold it up. Hold it. And we circle forward for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, opposite way. Go eight, seven, six, five. Almost there, guys. Just a few more and done. Bring it out, shake it out. Wonderful. So you can already feel it in your shoulders, okay? From here, I want you to come and you're gonna lay down on the chair. Yes, you're welcome, you get to lay down. <laughs> so I'm gonna bring my waist on top of the chair, bringing my pelvis as close as I can to the chair. My feet are flat. I'm gonna rest my arms down. Now, if you cannot touch the floor, it's not a problem. From here, we're just gonna arm raise. So you're gonna inhale, bring the arm up, just next to your ear, exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. So this exercise is really great if you have bad knees. So then you can put your weight in the chair and only focus on the movement. Yeah? Inhale, lengthening that spine. Exhale down. So you're working from the top of that back all the way down. Wonderful. Inhale as you lift. Elongate that spine. Exhale down. Now when you're doing it, make sure you keep that pelvis tucked under. We don't want to arch in our bum. Two, 
Two set more. Mm -hmm. We have one set left. Reaching and down. One more. Reach and down. So from here, we're going to start raising our legs, keeping your hands pressed against the floor. Now, if you cannot reach the floor on your chair, you're more than welcome to come into this seat, but really focus on not arching and tucking that pelvis under. So I'm placing my hands on the floor. I'm elongating my left leg first. You're gonna inhale, bend the knee, exhale, lift, and down. I'm gonna inhale, keeping the knee bent, and down. So it's a double combo. You're working your bum, and your back. Yes. Three more. Three. And two. Last one. And up. Wonderful. So we're gonna do the other leg. So I'm extending my right leg just a bit, bending the knee, and I'm lifting up and down. Good. Just seven more. So you want to really focus, keeping that heel as close as you can to your body. It's not about how high you go, it's about the quality of the movement. Slow and controlled. You're doing great. Awesome. Three. And two. Last one. Fight for it. You got it. You got it. And up and down. Wonderful. Go ahead and stand up. We're gonna move the chair now to the side, okay? And we're gonna come to the mat like I promised. Some core work. So coming onto your back. If you want, you can always place the feet in the chair or you can place them on the floor. So I am going to place my feet on the floor, making sure I relax my back. So in order to keep your back strong, it's also about having abdominal strength. So I want you to squeeze your kegels right above, and then I want you to press your lower back into the floor. So place your hand underneath your back, slightly tilt your pelvis as if you're lifting, scooping it off the floor so that you're pressing on your hand. That is the lower back pressing into your hand. Remove your hand, keep your lower back pressing into that floor. Arms extended out, inhale, exhale, lift, and down. We're doing a mini crunch. Yes, keep your eyes up, looking over those knees. Focus on lifting the shoulders off the floor. Excellent, three, and two, last one, and one. From here, we're gonna bring our hands together in prayer position, extend those arms up. We're gonna inhale back above our head, exhale, bring the arms to the left side, and right. How do you feel? You feel those abs already firing up? Good. Just like I said before, slow and controlled. Doesn't have to be fast. You got it. For six, we're going five. Come on, stay with me. Four, three, woo. I feel it firing up now. Two, oh, can we do two more? Let's do two more, okay? Last one. Wonderful. From here, we're gonna come into a tabletop position with our feet. So bring those legs up and keep the knees over the hips. Already, I can feel my core engage. So keep thinking, pressing that low back into the floor, squeezing those kegels. We're gonna bring our hands up, inhale above our head, exhale, lift. So push all the air out. Yes, fabulous. Scooping that belly. Pulling that navel into spine. Wonderful. Three more. After we finish, we're gonna keep this movement and then we're gonna add it into a combo with the triple press at the top. Okay, so we're gonna come back up and press it down for three. Here we go. Three, two, one. And three, two, one. Yes, guys. And up. come on. Three, two, one. Ah, yeah. You can really feel those lower obliques engage. And that lower back is strengthening. Yes, you cannot have a strong back without a strong core. We have to keep things in balance. 
Three more sets, guys. Three, two, one. Again, three, two, one. Last set. Three, two, one. And relax. Ah, good. So now we're gonna come onto our tummy. I'm just gonna press my legs in between my chair. You don't have to. I'm gonna bring my chest down. From here, this is gonna be slow and controlled again. We're just gonna be raising our upper body just slightly off the floor. Extend those arms down. Your head is looking to the mat first. You're looking to the mat. You're gonna inhale, look to the right. Exhale, look down to the mat. Inhale, look to the left. And exhale down to the mat. Here we go. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. So you're just keeping the arms down to the side. And done. Good. Shake it out if you need to. Bring the hands to the floor. Sit back. Bring the knees in right underneath those hips. So you remember that first exercise we did with our knees in the chair? So we're gonna do something similar. With the knee in line with your hip, palms down, shoulder, elbow, and press away from the floor, press away. We're gonna inhale, bring that right arm up. Exhale, scoop it down. Inhale, back to center, and down. Again, inhale, swoosh those arms down. Inhale, back to start, and down. And down, good. Inhale. Your core and abdom abdominals and your back are working together. Three more. Two more. Last one. And down. Good, guys. Other side. Wonderful. Ugh. You can already feel that lower back, that posture begin to pull itself back because you're strengthening. Here we go. Knees and hands on the floor. And we're pressing away from the floor. We're gonna inhale. Exhale. Good, inhale. Just three more sets. Make sure you're pressing that hand into the floor away, keeping yourself stabilized. You are strong, you can do this. Last one, you got this, you got it. And down, great job. Go ahead, sit back on your feet, put those hands together, and now I want you just to rotate that wrist, okay? Take a little tension out. And we're gonna go right back onto our back for that core. Here we go. So on my back again. And this time, we're gonna come right into tabletop, right where we left off. And from here, I want you to focus on lifting your pelvis off the floor. Just mini lift. Reverse crunch, yes. Press those elbows and hands into the mat. Just a mini lift. Working that abdominals. 10 more. Oh yeah, you got it. <laughs> Eight, seven, six. Try not to swing, really control the movement as you bring it down. Two, and one. Good. So this time I want you to bring your palms up to the ceiling and you're gonna do a double crunch, meaning every time you pull the knees to the head, you're gonna lift the shoulders off the mat. So I'm extending my feet just slightly, bring my hands out so I lift, I lift my body. In four, three, two, here we go. Yes. I call this my double crunch. <laughs> 10. Make sure you breathe. We don't want to catch any cramps. 
Five more. Four. Do you remember that pulse we did where you had to pulse three times? We're gonna do that same combo right now. Here we go, up in three. Three, two, one. Again, three, two, one. Woo! Three, two, one. Oh yeah, I feel the burn. Three, two, one. Are you with me, guys? Three, two, one. Come on. Three, two, one. Last set. Three, two, one. Pull the knees in. Back side to side. Oh my goodness. Are you with me? We're gonna come up now onto our feet. Let me check, are you still with me? I hope you are. <laughs> so we're just gonna shake it out now. Roll over the shoulders. Oh. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up and exhale down. And that was your posture back and core workout. Thank you for joining me here at Shape. Bye.